Today we will be making another thing with pastry. We will be making a chickenless and vegetable pot pie. Um, this is one of my favourite recipes and it is so comforting, especially this time of year. I say chickenless, I mean you can use um, whatever you want. You can use corn, you can use tofu or you can use the chicken strips. Depending on which allergy you have, find the one that's right for you. Um, I've got chicken strips here. Uh, before we start, I want to show you something. I have been looking for these for ages and nobody seems to have them. And last night, Asda! Actually, Asda have gone mental up there. They've got so many different things at the moment. It's well worth taking a look. The reason I wanted these is because you can shred them up. They're great in sort of uh, wraps, tacos. I wanted them for a beef and ale pile that I'm making. So I'm so glad I found them and there will be a recipe coming soon. All right, back to the job in hand. Um, I will go for the ingredients as I go through. Um, this is a not a roux based sauce, but it does have a little bit of almond or soya cream in it. So I will do so I'll put you down to the pan so you can see what's going in and I will talk you through it. Okay. Right, we just let this heat up a bit. And the first thing you would add would be your mushrooms. Uh, this recipe is on the website and I will tag it, but I have made a few adjustments to it now. Um, I think it makes it better. We shall see. Um, this I don't make in a large pie. You can if you are a family of vegans or you're gluten free. Unfortunately, I'm the on only one here. So I make individual pies, put them in something like this and freeze them. So I've always got them ready. I don't cook them before I freeze them. I just leave them, the pastry uncooked. Right. The third thing we're going to add is our mushrooms. So you want about 250 grams of mushrooms. I use chestnut mushrooms because I think they got a little bit better flavour. I could have used oyster mushrooms, but I want to save them for something else. Right, in with the mushrooms. Let me turn that up high enough. What I do with my cooking or anything I'm cooking, I always make sure that I have all the ingredients set on the table. For me, I can't get up and down to get the ingredients so it makes more sense to me. I don't need to be running around the kitchen. So if you've got them all there, weighed out and ready to go, it's just a case of chuck. Right, let me put a bit of salt in that and a bit of black pepper. This really is the sort of pie you want with mashed potato, anything like that. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's creamy. This is the boring part, I'm afraid, but we can't avoid it. So we'll just have a, a chat around. Um, I hope you're having a, a good day. It's absolutely torrential here and has been all day in Plymouth. Um, so not going out in this weather. Um, I hope, you know, if you're in Wales, I, I know it's, having a, it's hard up there at the moment, or even north of England. So far down here, we haven't been on full lockdown as, again as yet, but I think it's coming. Anyway, let's talk about that because it just gets you maudlin. Right, you want to cook the mushrooms until they release their juice. So you need them on high, there, yeah, one more, and they will start to release their own juice. Try saying that with a mouthful of marbles. There you go. You know, if you do not like leek, you could substitute for onion, but I think leek gives it a much softer flavour. They're not as harsh as onion. I've got the pastry ready from yesterday because I have made loads of pastry. So, right, that's about the stage where we add our leeks. Right, remember with leeks, 
you have to wash them because they are grown in sandy soil and sometimes they get a little bit gritty so what you do is you chop a bit off each end slice them down the middle and run them under a tap just to get any of that sort of grit out it's not a pleasant texture when you're in this lovely pie and all of a sudden a mouthful of grit so here we go I've been really enjoying this week's actually. I never thought I would. Um, my family laughed because I've always said, I'm not doing YouTube, I'm not doing Facebook videos, and here I am, you know, out of my comfort zone, but I'm enjoying showing people what I do, you know, and what I do is cook. Right, next step. Add two cloves of garlic and a little bit of fresh thyme. You don't need a lot. It's just for background, a hint of background flavour. But in goes the garlic. Oh, that's now starting to smell nice. I just love the smell of mushrooms or leek, thyme. Thyme is one of my favourite herbs, so it usually goes in everything savoury here. Apart from curries, of course. Right. I used... I'm going to tell you a bit of a strange story, actually. Um, I was taken to Iceland the other day, and I've always used these uh, chick strips um, from the no sort of... no chick range, this is. Um, well, there, we looked in the freezer, and it had these, but it apparently had gluten on the packet. I will dig out the picture and I was so disappointed because I've always used this one. So for, I'm going to have to find a alternative, alternative range, um, like the oomph range. Turn it down a little bit. Um, anyway, lo and behold, was taken shopping again or pasta and I saw this and someone read the packet to me. And now this is vegan and gluten-free, what I've got. So it's a little bit expensive at the moment. I don't know why they've jacked up the price. But I must admit, I did buy two. But I like that. What I do is I wait for it to frost a little bit. And I actually shred it so it looks like chicken. Because the lumps are quite big when you get the packet. And you don't really want, like I say, one person gets one bit and another pie might not have not much in it. Right, that looks nice. Right, next in goes the carrots. You're going to be steamed out a bit, I think. All right, in with the carrots. There you go. Now it is beginning to smell absolutely lovely. Right, I am going to season again. I do not like bland food, so we will season. Movie night tonight, and it's a chocolate night. Can you have it like yeah? Okay. Next one, frozen peas. Everyone has to have a pack of frozen peas in the freezer. Good for anything like um, you can make a pesto of them, um, soups. They are so easy to use. So they get starting to look quite quite thick you know it makes a really good good pie right I will leave that cooking for a minute and I will show you a couple of things right this one the Oggs Aquafaba egg substitute uh, the only place I could get it back along was at Waitrose it is now at Asda so that's good news I bought myself a cheat thing because I can no longer do the lattice on top of a pie. This one here will roll it out and you will get the same effect. So, and I needed a pie funnel. I've not used a pie funnel in years, but I saw him and I couldn't resist. I'm terrible, absolutely terrible for bits of the kitchen. And I got this one off Amazon. 
and it wasn't that expensive and I'm so pleased with it. It's deep. That would make a wonderful pie coming up for Christmas. Sort of stuffed with lush. But yeah, that is a 20 centimetre deep pan pie. And it says, Masterclass Crusty Bake. No more soggy bottoms. Mary Bear will be pleased. Right, we are sort of done here. So what I'm going to do now next is to add... I have one and a half teaspoons of Dijon mustard. So that goes in, another favourite of mine. Okay. Put that in. And next we chuck in two tablespoons of plain flour, be it gluten free or not. Any, any plain flour, in it goes. Right, you want to make sure that cooks out because it tastes floury and it's not nice. So just let it cook out. This is to thicken the pie and we've got a couple more ingredients yet. We've got the stock and we've got the cream. There. Looking good. The last thing I add is actually the chicken bits because they do not take much cooking. Right, next, we'll sort of deglaze the pan a bit. I have 250 mils of vegetable stock. I always, to be honest, I use, if I don't make my own, I use nor the gel ones, the vegetable ones. We're in that goes and now we're gonna whack the heat up again. just to let that boil off. You can add a bit more stock if you want, you know, it depends. Oh, I wish you could smell this, it smells so delicious. You know, I'd be quite happy with a pie like that without any meat in it, to be honest. And not exactly that I'm putting meat in, but yeah, it's delicious. Right. Right, that is just coming to the boil now. So let's just turn it down a bit. And we add our shreds. So in they go. You might need a bit more liquid. I think I probably will, I will add that later. And now you're starting to see the filling is forming. Right. In with the cream. Add as little as you want. I normally just add up about 100 ml. In it goes. I mean, I cook by instinct. Um, like I say, doing it a long time, you probably won't. You'll want to measure it. But roughly about 100 ml. Like I say, I am going to need more stock in here. And maybe a little bit more cream. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's put a bit more cream in. There, right now cook that in, and there you go. I mean, to me, that looks pretty good, you know. It's quick. I mean, if you wanted a quick meal, this you do this you buy the gluten free or vegan puff pastry on top in the oven, done, you know, quick. I mean, that is a chunky filling by anyone's standards. There you go. I'm going to tip it a bit, although you can see it. That is quite chunky. Get on there. Right, I'm going to turn that down to a low and uh, just let it do its stuff. I'm, I will add a little bit more um, stock to that, I think, but I will do that afterwards because I'm sort of in one place at the moment. Okay, and there is your pie filling, uh, leek, mushroom, chickenless bits and some lovely vegetables.
I hope all that made sense. I try and make it as um, concise and easy as possible for you to follow. Like I said, this recipe is on the website and I will link you to it. In the next video, what I'll do is I'll show you them into the, part, into the pie tins and with their pastry on and we'll see them come in and out of the oven. Um, but I hope you thought that was a good recipe and I hope I did a good job of the video for you. Okay, catch you in the next one. Bye.